the COVID-19 virus. The factories have had clothing orders worth nearly $3 billion cancelled by retailers, mostly from Western countries. And most of the workers there are women. Uh, Rabana Huck is president of the Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers and Exporters Association and joins us now. Welcome to Newsday. Um, are there no protections for these factories, for these workers? If you've placed an order, surely you have to honour that. Well, thank you for having me over. Uh, there are contracts that we go by with the buyers, from the buyers, and that's about it. Um, so often we do business just based on trust. And I shouldn't even say often, it's always, business is always done based on trust. And when in the West a buyer goes ahead and declares bankruptcy or evokes the force measure clauses, we are left undone and we don't know how to deal with it because none of us had ever thought that we would come to this. This is surreal. So we have no protection. Tell us about, I was going to say, tell us about the force measure close, close, uh, sorry, cl clauses. What exactly do they mean? Um, most of the buyers have actually told us that um, they are facing unprecedented losses they don't see tomorrow and there is no way they can help us. So after a lot of requests and plea, what has happened is a couple of them have said we are going to take the goods. Some of them have said we don't know when. Some of them have said we are going to take them, but we don't know how we're going to pay for them. So it's a whole conversation where we are going through from one phase of uncertainty to increased or lessened degree of uncertainty, but with no specific hint of any certain uh, prediction or, I mean, nothing. So we don't know what's going to really happen because we have buyers telling us almost every day that our stores are closing. And if you look at America, it's a nightmare. I mean, they really don't know when, when anything is going to turn around. Because we're talking about big, big retailers here, Primark, Matalan, here in the UK, Edinburgh, Woolen Mill, they're amongst retailers uh, who collectively cancelled 1.4 billion uh, worth of orders. Uh, next, Marks & Spencer, Tesco, they said, OK, we'll honour existing orders. That doesn't help going forward. Tell us about the impact on the ground then, because presumably factories will have to close and, and people now immediately thrown into dire straits. Um, the big brands and retailers that you talk about who have said, who've cancelled, some of them have come back, like uh, Primark has come back and said, yes, uh, I mean, after intense negotiation, they've said, okay, it's good. I mean, we're going to be honoring whatever is being shipped now and everything, but the, the, the WIP, the, the, the work in progress, I mean, that, these are all subjected to penalty and they all stand cancelled, literally. And uh, when we talked about the salary payments, um, uh, they immediately said that, okay, fine, uh, there's an ABF foundation which is going to be uh, giving you the salary, uh, which is remarkable. But at the same time, we are still stuck with uh, at least 75 to 85% of liability related to raw material. So we are facing uncertainty. And I, I, I spoke to them, and they're very, very old partners of Bangladesh. We've all been doing business for them for too long, but for, for, for a very long time. And they're trusted too. And they've never walked away. But they are in a position where they're not being able to even say whether they can commit to at least taking these or paying for these unutilized raw material uh, in the next even six months. I've given them even the, uh, the option to even tell us but guys, we're going to take them even after six months, but they're, they're unable to commit even there. It's difficult times, isn't it? Because the train goes on and on and you have to pay your suppliers. We hear you. Thank you so much for updating us, Rubana Huck there, president of the Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers. And Thank you very much. Thanks. Newsday continues. Bye-bye. Yeah,